Hello, O'Brien. Is that you? I have to disappoint you. What? The Rabanvat? How? After all this time? I didn't think you'd- Remember what you did. Again, I must disappoint you. I've not been blessed with a short memory. What? The Rabanvat? Listen, it wasn't me. I don't know anything about what happened there. That's the truth. <laughs> truth. See, I never had much regard for the Bible. But there's one remarkable, groundbreaking moment. Before being sentenced to death, Jesus goes on and on about being a witness for the truth. But Pilate defies him with the simplest of all questions. What is truth? It is this particular question I've been pondering over for a very long time now. How much of the information ending up on our screens every single day has passed through so many other minds before, each one with their own bias and agenda? size, proportion, ready to be consumed, and yet we greedily swallow it all in blissful ignorance, because our hunger is our ending. Stop the nonsense and get to the point. What do you want? To ask you a question. What is truth? I don't understand. Now you're the disappointing one. You of all people should all it. Okay. There's only one thing.
Karen, my love. Hey. Having a good day? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so far, so good. I called to tell you I'll be home late today. I'm sorry. Again? Uh, they don't pay you enough for all the time you give them. It's not about payment, and you know that. These people rely on me. They need me. Yeah? Well, I need my wife at home with me some of the time. Am I asking for too much? Raban, not so long ago you were among them. You have been in their position. Yes, I know that. So was Ilya, so were the others. Yet none of us were national soldiers responsible for invading and ravaging countries. If it weren't for them driving refugees out in the first place, why, we wouldn't need these camps. This again? We talked about this multiple times. I'm well aware that this extra time you spend there is for her, isn't it? Raban, she is... I'm worried, that's all. She's more reclusive now than ever. Something isn't right. One more reason to avoid her. You want me to cherry-pick who deserves my assistance and who doesn't? All people get the same treatment, the same attention, that's my mandate. I thought... I thought you loved that about me. I do. You're right. Of course you are. You always are. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's it's okay. So, are you good with me getting home late tonight then? I am. Thank you. I will be waiting for you. N no, don't wait. It might get late. Well, I can hardly go anywhere else. You shouldn't say things like that. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. <sighs> See you.
Billy of Arts speaking. Brother. Oh, he hey, Raban. I, I didn't expect you to call. I I'm getting ready for work. I have no idea what's going on with the donations. I swear they were working. And I haven't changed anything in the back end. Forget the donations. I need your abilities as my co-writer. You must write me an article. Uh, right now, is it important? It is. What do you want me to write about? There has been a second assault in Bonton, at Stelligan University. Another one? Oh, wow. They really have got a situation here, don't they? We need to cover it. Draw attention to how the government is failing its people. I'm not quite sure if I'll be able to pull it off at work. I feel like they're watching me already. Do you stand with me, brother? Or has the nation's corruption and wealth finally swayed your sympathies? Ravan, I stand with you. I've told you this. Then I have faith in you, brother. Are you preparing a statement about these threats? This has to stop. Are you gonna say something? Yes. Ah, great. Finally. And it is going to be the most remarkable statement I have ever made. The destruction of the cooperation between Cassett and Blaine. Destruction? How? Patience, brother. It won't be long now. Take care of the article. Okay. Uh, I will do my best to get it done for you. Give me... Give me... About an hour for the draft. I'll put it in the back end. Good. I'll be waiting. Until later. Yeah. Until then.
Channel 1 reporting. Come in, Command. Commander's reading you. We have arrived at the designated location. What is it like? Sorry, Command. I don't quite follow. The location? Tell me what you see. Looks like ruins of a school that has been hit by a large explosive. Possibly an airstrike. Maybe artillery fire. Hmm. Can you traverse the ruins? Affirmative. But the damage is catastrophic. Are you sure the target is around? Absolutely. Move in and keep me posted at all times. Describe to me everything you see. Understood. Echo Squad, move in! Entering primary hallway now. The hallway has been severely damaged. You can see the sky right through multiple stories. Some parts are completely caved in. Proceed with caution, Echo Squad. The damage definitely originated some time ago. There's vegetation spreading all over the place. There are some adjacent rooms that seem rather intact. Echo 2, Echo 4, clear them. Rooms are clear. Lots of bags lying around. There were still some geometrical drawings on the chalkboard. The place was clearly left in a hurry. Moving into the next corridor. There's... Oh, shit! What is it? Part of the ceiling gave way. Nearly hit one of our operatives. Status, Echo Squad. Dust off. Ugh. Can you proceed? Affirmative. Do it. Roger. Moving on now. Status? All clear. No traces of the target. Some doors are blocked by debris, but there's zero chance they have been opened recently. Listen, I need you to find the target person. He is around. There's a basement stairwell that we haven't checked yet. Moving there now. Watch your corners, Echo Squad. Not much left here either. The projectile went right through half the building like a hot knife through butter. Hate to say it, but we may be out of luck. Wait, found something. There's a hatch leading further down. Looks used recently. Finally, proceed. Affirmative. This is the school's library. Still intact. Someone put a lot of effort into turning this into some sort of autonomous bomb shelter. And they succeeded. Even the power is still on. From what I can tell, this thing even has working surveillance cams on the walls. Huh. Peculiar. Maybe Bekay is able to use them. Proceed with caution. Definitely wouldn't want to. Movement! Get down! Get down! Echo Squad, contain the target! It's the target. It has to be. Oleg McKay, we know you're here. There is no way out of this shelter. Throw your weapons into the middle of the room and come out from your position with your hands on your head. Visual on target. Identity confirmed. It is Oleg McKay. Your order. McKay did not betray our secrets. He is too valuable and must be retrieved alive. Is that understood? Roger. Get down and put your palms flat on the ground in front of you. I said get down! Oleg McKay, surrender and lie down. Now! Report in. Target cooperative. We got him. Oleg Bakay is in custody. Very well. Mission accomplished. Make sure the area is secure, then disengage. Understood. Echo Squad, move out!
my dear followers. Yes, this is exactly what you think it is. I found Oleg Bake. What you see before you is an image obtained from a surveillance camera feed from the ruins of my old school, showing him among soldiers of the nation. These highly trained professionals arrested him, a soldier in service of the Pagesian army, while he was hiding away from them. The true nature of the national government is laid bare before you. Through their propaganda machine called the National Beholder, they dared to make their false allegations against me and the people's voice as a whole. They claimed I'd be responsible for Bakay's disappearance, when it was them all along. But when President Kassat and Prime Minister Blaine are such close friends, why would they arrest a fellow soldier, you might ask? Oleg Bakay was the person responsible for the attack on Prava Secondary, the school I have been principal of a long time ago. And they knew it. They knew the moment he disappeared, the blame was on me. To shut me up once and for all. But the people's voice cannot be silenced. So what is there to do for you, my dear followers, against the oppressive force of the national government and the Kassat regime? Do not listen to their corrupt and manipulative media outlets. Do not fail to remind Kassat what has transpired here today. Do not let them sweep this under the carpet, to pass the buck, to influence you with such outrageously false information, to make people vanish, to manipulate your thoughts. Or you may be next. Stand up for your rights and resist Kassat. Resist Blaine. Let's retake our country from President Puppet. Thank you.